Hey, Father A. So I'm wondering what Orthodoxy's take is on environmentalism, climate change, global warming. I think the best place to start is from, I shouldn't say the top, but our ecumenical patriarch. Mm. And I don't know if you know, but he was actually given the moniker of the Green Patriarch. Oh, cool. Because of his dedication, of his motivation, and of his desire to do those things that will help preserve our environment. In fact, in 2008, he was voted for having done the most for environmental and ecological awareness. Wow, so, that's so cool. So the Orthodox Church definitely does have a role in that. Scripturally, I think the best place to start with that is Genesis. And in the opening, right, God created man and created woman, and then he said to them. What did he say to them? He said, and now, and it depends on the different Bibles that you read. So one Bible may say, and I have given you command over the earth to subdue it. Oh. Ooh, sounds rough, doesn't it? Yeah. And then the other one, you'll read another one that says, and I have given you control over the earth to guard and protect it. Sounds okay? a bit better, yeah. All right, so there are kind of two different views in terms of how we see uh, environmental policy. One of them comes from a fundamentalist Protestant idea, which is we're gonna be renewed somewhere else. The earth is gonna be destroyed, right? Christ will come and then he's gonna take us all to another place. So it's kind of like, don't worry about this toy because we're gonna blow it up and it doesn't really matter. Oh. So, you know, and something new will be created. The other side of that is what the Orthodox side is, which is God created this as paradise, right? He said, I've created the Garden of Eden and now you will live in that together with all the fauna, the plants, the animals, everything like that. We as Orthodox believe that this place is perfect. A tree can't be anything but a tree. Your dragon, my bearded dragon. Your bearded dragon yeah. can't be anything but a dragon. Our two cats are perfect as cats. So that's why we don't baptize them because they're perfect as they are. An Orthodox perspective from that standpoint is that guard and protect the earth, take care of the earth. So our Orthodox perspective is this is where we're gonna live out our immortal lives. Now, what I wanna read is the 1st of September, and not many people know this, is uh, the indiction of the church. And the Ecumenical Patriarch has made this day now the day of the environment. So September 1st now has taken on a new meet, an additional meaning of the first day of the church and also environmental awareness. So like a Greek Earth Day. Yeah, something like that. Very good, very good. And the other things that he said, and I just want to read, and this will be on our website also, but I just want to read just a couple of quick things that he has expressed that will express our Orthodox ideals. Number one, it is impossible to truly care for human beings while at the same time destroying their natural environment, which is the foundation of our life and that undermines the future of humanity. So that's number one, mm -hmm. right? Is that we need it for our own continuation. Yeah. Number two, that we see environmental policy eucharistically, meaning that it, we are in communion with the earth, right? Okay, not necessarily kind of in a goofy way, but we are in communion with the earth. And this is how we approach the use of creation, that such a relationship with the world is not compatible with an indifference to the environment and creation. So a Eucharistic vision. Number three, he says, and that ecological and environmental initiatives were not developed in response to some modern concern, but as an expression of the church's life through a Eucharistic ethos, meaning that we have always considered the environment important. It's not just because all of a sudden now modern man tells us, hey, we gotta, we gotta care about the earth, all right? And then lastly, special attention, again, from the patriarch, special attention must be directed to the organization of Christ-centered educational programs for our youth that cultivate a concern for the environment. 
So I want to read those four things because those form the foundation of, of why we think that the environment is a church-related issue. It's not something new, but it's always been a part of the history of our church to care for our environment. Mm -hmm.